Hey, what's up everybody? Merry Christmas. In this video, we're going to work through some elementary geometry. Specifically, we're going to look at the relationship between surface area and volume for polyhedron, known as the cube. And it might seem somewhat rudimentary, but it is interesting nonetheless in how you can think about it. For example, in our cube here, we say it's wrapped by some sort of material we are labeling as a subscript S, and we are tasked with finding the volume. Well, if we know the surface area, that means this entire cube here is wrapped in some sort of, maybe it's gift wrap for a present, and how much, we know how much we use to wrap it, but we don't know how much volume is inside this package. So, we know that our surface area is A subscript S, and there are six faces on this polyhedron. So we could divide this by six, because it has six equal components to it. Furthermore, we could think about how each face is a square. And we know that squares are the same length on both sides. And so we could actually square root this value to find the length of one side. So the square root of our surface area divided by the number of faces on the cube gives us the length of one side. Another way to think about this is if you had a square that means both sides are L. When we square root something, normally this is L times L, right? Which is L squared. When we square root it, we're getting one side of our square. And so by square rooting this value, we get one side. And then furthermore, we could actually cube this because we want the dimensions of the cube. And we know that volume is equal to length times width times height. So all sides are the same in the cube. So really, it's just equal to our length that we've already discovered by square rooting this value and cubing it. And so this actually equals the volume of our cube. And so we could actually, if we were given the volume of the cube and we wanted to know how much gift wrap do we want to use to wrap this present, we could take this formula and solve for AS. And we could even rewrite this formula so it's a little bit easier to think about. A subscript S, meaning the surface area, divided by six for our cube, raised to the three halves power equals volume of any cube. So if your gift had a cube form to it, you could have calculated how much wrapping paper you needed. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.